Oh, Lady Tomoe, how can you be both so strong and so weak? Am I truly helping Lord Yoshinaka? As an archer, I cannot hold a candle to my brothers, the Kiso Elite Four. As a woman, you and Lady Fuyuhime are far more beautiful than I could ever hope to be. And as his wife, I have not yet even been able to provide him with a child. On top of all that, these protruding horns serve as a constant reminder of my inhuman nature. Should have gone the Hellboy route, you should have sanded them down. So I cannot help but wonder if I will ever be able to accompany Lord Yoshinaka to the destination he seeks. Come now, our dear Tomoe, you should know better than that. Don't let those horns stop you from holding your head high. Both Lady Fuyu, uh, Fuyuhime and I have every confidence in you. And I and need I remind you that I too have known you since we were both children, just as Lord Yoshinaka has. We are all Lord Yoshinaka's wives. Ordinarily, that would likely mean we would be competing amongst ourselves for his favor. And truth be told, Lady Fu Fuyuhime and I dislike each other a great deal as a result of that. But you, Tomoe, our dear Tomoe, you are different. You are the only one of us who can fight. The only one who can stand by Lord Yoshinaka's side even on the battlefield. While the rest of us can do little more than pray for his safe return, you have the power to actually protect him. Fair argument. And what could be more fortunate than that? So we are all counting on you to help, help Lord Yoshinaka in ways that we simply cannot. No ordinary wife or concubine can be of help out on the field of battle, but you can be by Lord Yoshinaka's side wherever he goes. As for your Oni horn, so what? Once you put on a matching headband, no other soldier will so much as look twice. Lady Yamabuki. I... I had no idea you felt that way about me. Alright, I've made up my mind. I swear to you here and now that I will fight by Lord Yoshinaka's side, on behalf of every woman who loves him. And should the worst come to pass, and he meets his end on the battlefield, I am prepared to be with him in his final moments on all of your behalfs as well. Tomoe. Yes? Don't you know better than to think about losing a battle before it's even begun? No? Oh, right. I'm sorry. We ended up winning the Battle of Kurikara by an overwhelming degree. Lord Yoshinaka fought magnificently against the Taira clan's massive army and led us right into the city of Kyoto. But unfortunately, things do not always go as planned. Once Lord Yoshinaka had finally gained the position of Sei Tai Shogun, he lost his life soon after when Minamoto no Yorimo. Oh, so Jesus Christ. Fucking names. When Minamoto no Yoritomo ordered Minamoto no. Nori Yori and Minamoto no Yoshitsune to kill him. And I... I... You weren't able to be there. No. I wasn't. I failed to keep the promise I had made to Lady Yamabuki. Before his death, Lord Yoshinaka told me to live. To carry on no matter what. I only learned that there was a deeper meaning to his words later. When I discovered I was pregnant with his child. That is certainly a name I do not know. Yes, that was Yoshihide. Yeah, that's a name that means nothing to me as an American. Though I pretended I had him with Lord Wada Yoshimori, I never had any doubt that he was actually Lord Yoshinaka's son. Shortly after Yoshihide was born, I decided to raise him as a normal woman, and I did. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I got very confused. I thought she meant she, raid, she raised Yoshihide as a woman. And I was like, what? What? 
By then, my oni horns had vanished from my forehead, and there was no sign left that I was anything other than human. Once Yoshihide was all grown up, I prayed for Lord Yoshinaka's soul to rest in peace, and lived out the rest of my life as a normal human. Obviously, I had no idea about this until I became a heroic spirit, but I am told that even my corpse appeared to be perfectly ordinary. You know, I always thought that I had lived my life by suppressing my oni urges, but now I am not so sure. If I had been there for Lord Yoshinaka's final moments, my grief and rage may well have ended up turning me into a true oni, one more apt to devour my son than raise him. And if that's true, that would mean Lord Yoshinaka saved me in more ways than one. Wait, what am I doing? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, Master. I didn't mean to go on and on about Lord Yoshinaka like that. How strange. I had every intention of telling you about my family, especially Yoshihide. How strange. Where did I go wrong? Does this mean I can't even mention Lord Yoshinaka without getting completely sidetracked? Perhaps I should start over at the beginning. But no way, even back then I was still good friends with Lord... Oh god. Komamaru. So... Something, something, love of eternal. I... Yes. Yes, of course I do. Master, Lord Vane Izanagi, I would... I wish Lord Yoshinaka and Yoshi... Yoshihide had a chance to meet you. If they had, I am certain you would all become so close as family yourselves. Oh. After all... Oh, finally. What's going on? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The idiot who was supposed to be monitoring the simulator decided to run a virus scan, even though you guys were in there, and now thinks you're malware that needs to be deleted. And has decided to do that by sending some exceptionally powerful monsters your way. They're sort of functioning as antivirus software. We'll try to shut them down as soon as we can, but I'm afraid you'll have to hold out on your own in the meantime. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Right you are, Master. Very well then. However long it takes to resolve this situation, be it half a day or a full 24 hours, I, Tomoe Goizen, shall see that no harm befalls my master whatsoever. How about you foul beasts? Yep, I knew this was going to be a long one. Perfect chance. All right. Uh, where's my team? No. Ah, here we go. This is my team. All right. Gonna fix this again. Oh yeah. So fun fact. You remember how I said we play tested Orion because we didn't have him? Yeah, so afterwards, um, uh, Krim went out and fucking pulled him. And he's also already like Max. We'll send it. Good times. Alright, so where is Tomoy? There she is. Let's keep her in that one. I like that one. So, we require only the power of archers, huh? <laughs> there is only one archer fitting this battle. So come. And prepare to die. And let's see what else we got. Um, any other archers we haven't shown off? We showed off Jane. You know what? Let's 
bring a Svatom on. But like, heavy metal, a Svatom on. And then if I can, if, I'm going to shovel Ryan in the back. Ah, there we go. So he can uh, be on bomb bitch duty. All right. So, show time. Why is there a weak ass tank here? Okay, so first of all, burn skill use, normal speed, skip enemy fade out, speed up, back. There we go. Uh, single enemy. Single enemy. Okay. Actually, what the crap did uh, Tomoe get? Uh, gain crit stars, increase critical damage, increase MP gained. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's bottom on deal with this uh, annoyance. Good. Now. <laughs> That tank is super close to us, and I don't like it. Now die. why that thing what didn't die instantly yeah whatever dead now vaccine data type no oh, great what does it have oh great well it can't be helped then Let's see, what does this do? And increase MP strength. I don't think I'll need that right now. <laughs> Fly! <laughs> I 
Oh, I forgot that the Noble Phantasm would trigger his guts. I could have killed him, uh... I could have killed him by just, uh, chaining their Noble Phantasms together. Oh, he's dead anyways. Alright, cool. Uh, Zwadamon is likely pissed that he didn't get to do his Noble Phantasm. There is something about that face that just looks so wrong on that body. Zwadamon's just like, what the fuck? This pisses me off! It's like, no, it makes sense. This was her interlude. <laughs> I don't care! That pisses me off! <laughs> there! I don't see any more enemies. There certainly were a lot of them. There were four. But it would seem that was the last of them. Nice. I do not deserve your kind words, Master. You would never have been in danger if I hadn't asked you to come here. Technically, we wouldn't have been in danger if some dumbass hadn't been stupid. For that, I am terribly sorry. Still now that, uh, now that all is said and done. I think I do feel a little better. Thank you so much for listening to me, my new master. I... Strictly speaking, I am not actually Tomoe Gozen. I am simply a shadow of her cast by humanity. Even this body you see here now is from the time when she spent her days on the battlefield. While I do still have previous memories of the life she lived, my duty now is to keep you safe. There is nothing more important to me now than ensuring you are able to live out your days in health and peace. As such, I doubt there is anything to be gained from looking back at my past like this, so... Please just forget this whole thing ever happened. From here on, I promise I will do my very best to never subject you to this shameful side of me again. So, what were we going to say before we got interrupted? Oh, yes. Well, um, after all... After all, you also fight for something bigger than yourself. And in that sense, I see a great many similarities between you and Lord Yoshinaka... Are you coming on to me? I truly believe you have the same inner spark as he did. I'm a transformer now? One that shines with the same light and promise as the rays of the morning sun. <laughs> morning sun, huh? Absolutely. There you are. Thank goodness you two are alright. We finally managed to shut down the virus scan. Thank you, Lady Mash. Not to worry, Lord Vane is safe and sound. Wait right there. I shall bring him back in no time at all. I mean, safe and sound. Yeah, it wasn't too hard when fucking Gilgamesh was just like, Oh, look! Enemies! That's cute. Enema Ilesh. All right, what'd she get? Uh, significant damage. Uh, I think the burn does more damage now. Decreased critical rate really doesn't fucking matter. They just crit whenever the hell they want to. I wish there was an actual system for how they critted. I wish the enemy system was actually way better than it was, because... I've said this countless times before. I just hate how the combat system is in here. It's like, they don't have to actually build up an NP gauge. They just get an NP tick every turn, which is vastly different than how we, than how actual, than how the player has to do it. They just crit when they feel like it. And they can also just abuse their skills. They have no cooldown. It's like, sure, bosses will kind of like get cheaty doodles sometimes in games, but... Not every boss or every enemy. It's like, that's not really strategy. It's like, yeah, that's strategy. But at that point, it's like the RTS of... It's like, it's like the equivalent of an RTS game giving the enemy faction unlimited funds and going way outside the capacity of an army. It's like, sure, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge just because it's literally breaking the rules. 
But yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, I guess. Final thought, um, it was alright. It was okay. I kind of deep dives more into what Tomoe thought, or what Tomoe's life was like, I guess, but... Eh, it was okay. I don't feel strongly one way or the other. It was okay. Uh, another choice. Actually, hang on a, hang on a second. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.